My name is Frank Mazzella. I'm the Learning Products Manager for Vision Research. I'm here to present a series of PCC Phantom Camera Control software tutorials intended to show you many of the various features and processes incorporated in PCC. In this Saving to Flash Memory Part 1 Manually Saving to Flash tutorial, we will cover manually saving image data stored in a camera's RAM or circular buffer to different types of supported non-volatile flash memory including the camera's internal flash memory, attached Phantom Cine Mag, Phantom Cine Flash, or an inserted Type 1 compact flash card. With the Cine already stored in the Miro 320S Camp 2 camera's RAM or circular buffer, as I did for the reviewing your first Cine and editing and saving your first Cine video tutorials, I'm going to display the Cine in a play panel by double clicking on the Cine. Next, I need to open the Play tab and edit the Cine using the same process we discussed in the Editing and Saving Your First Cine tutorial by locating the first image of the Cine Edit then click the Mark In button. Now we need to locate the last image of the Cine Edit and click the Mark Out button. I'll quickly review the Cine just to make sure that all the image data I want to save is part of the edited Cine. Now that I have edited this Cine, I can manually save it to the camera's internal flash, attach Phantom Cine Mag, Phantom Cine Flash, or inserted Type 1 compact flash card. To do this, I need to click on the Save button down arrow and select the Save RAM Cine to Flash command from the Save pull down selection list. Once the save process is started, PCC indicates that the Cine file is being saved to flash and displays a save progress indicator. Now that the save process is complete, the Miro 320S Camp 2 camera now displays a second Cine, titled Cine F1, under the camera's group list, indicating there is a Cine saved in the camera's internal flash, attached Phantom Cine Mag, or Phantom Cine Flash, in this case, a Phantom Cine Flash. Cine files saved to a Type 1 compact flash card will not be displayed in the Manager tab camera's group tree. These files can only be read using a compact flashcard reader. Just as I did when we saved the edited Cine to an external hard drive device, I'm going to review the saved Cine prior to deleting it from the camera's RAM. So let's open the Cine file saved in flash memory in its own play panel by double clicking on the file, in this case the Cine F1 file, and return to the play tab. Notice only the image range defined by the mark in and mark out points have been saved to the file. Now I'll quickly review the Cine. We'll discuss erasing the Cine from the various flash options in the Saving to Flash Part 3 Direct Recording to a Phantom Cine Mag video tutorial. 